Ladies and gentlemen, I look back on my days playing rugby for Princeton University with many fond memories. And so I am really sorry I cannot be with you today. But I want to extend a special welcome to the Honorable Sheila Sisulu, the South African Ambassador to the United States, and to all Springbok supporters here at the match in Houston, as well as around the world. The Duke of Wellington once said, the Battle of Waterloo was won on the playing fields of Eton. All of us who've played fast and rough team sports like rugby, I think understand what he meant. Teamwork, quick decisions, giving and taking orders, courage, the will to triumph, despite all fear, fatigue, pain, and adversity. Today, we can truly say that the first battle in the modern war on terrorism was won on the rugby pitch. We will never know exactly what happened on United Airlines Flight 93, but our best information is that passengers overpowered the hijackers and, at the cost of their own lives, prevented that plane from killing hundreds perhaps thousands more in Washington, D.C. And those passengers were led by two 31-year-old rugby veterans. Jeremy Glick played second row at Rochester University. He was also a national judo champion. Mark Bingham, six feet five inches tall, competed on the Cal Berkeley National Championship team and was still active in rugby as a founder of the San Francisco Fog. Both men leave families, some of whom are here today. To them I say, Jeremy and Mark died as heroes, mourned and honored by men and women of goodwill around the nation and throughout the world. Greater love hath no man, it is said, than to give his life that another may live. What the terrorists of this world will never understand and can never overcome is the love and the courage that impel these two young men to rise from their seats and step onto the playing field of history. Nor do terrorists understand that Jeremy and Mark are the first but they're not the last. On the field today and on rugby fields around the world, other Jeremy's and other Mark's play on. Ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply honored to have my name on the award given today in honor of Jeremy Glick and Mark Bingham. I wish I had known them. I'm glad we have this day to tell them and their families how much we appreciate what they did. I extend my warmest wishes to the family members who are here today, and I hope we all remember that the best way to honor their memories is not with awards, but with vigilance in defense of our country and of its values. Thank you very much.